My name is Murayama Kaita. I'm in the second year of high school. My personal motto is to give my absolute best effort towards everything in life. Good morning, Aika! Morning. You're as cute as always. Oh, did you cut your hair? I just cut two centimeters off my bangs. That's just how much I love you, Aika. I'm so happy you noticed. I love you too, Moriyama. We both feel the same way then. Let's start dating. Yeah, Moriyama. Wait, Keira? I want to become your girlfriend. A romantic situation like that never occurred. Those words that you just said, was it a lie or a joke? A guy like you who says things like that so lightly should be castrated. Castrated? I have no idea what that means, but my feelings towards you aren't a lie or a joke. I think that you're cute, and I really do love you like I've told you so many times before. You're the only person that I call cute, and the only person I've said I love you to. Mariama, I think you'd become a great scammer one day, although I'd never fall for it. Wait, don't leave me, Aika! I had a huge crush on my classmate, Sakuraba Aika. My motto was to give my absolute best effort, so I kept on telling her that I loved her and that I wanted to date her. However, it always ended the same way. So, this is the fourth time I was rejected by her. That was pretty tragic! You can't keep saying I love you to her over and over. The words are gonna lose its meaning. Daiki, you were watching me? Well, this is the third time you proposed to her. It's not surprising that I run into this situation one day. A good-looking guy like you could never understand how I feel! Actually, even I would feel pretty down if I was in your situation. You've got to come up with a plan. If chasing her doesn't work, then make her chase you! Uh... Normally, I would speak to her immediately. I have to hold back. Huh? Daiki! I feel like she's just gonna forget a guy like me. If chasing her don't work, then try to make her chase you! Make her chase me? You need to cut ties with her temporarily. Don't give her attention. Ignore her and leave her alone for about a week. What? If I do something like that? Just listen to me till the end. You see this in romance manga all the time. The guy that always talks to the girl. One day he stops showing interest in her completely. He doesn't even make eye contact with her. She realizes that he was really important to her now that he's gone. Well, something along those lines. <laughs> if that doesn't change anything, then I'd just give up if I were you. I did exactly as Daiki advised me. I decided to cut ties with her temporarily, even though it was so difficult for me to do. I wonder what she's thinking about right now. Maybe she's happy because I stopped approaching her. Or maybe she forgot about me already. I'm scared. I feel like I'm never going to be able to talk to her again. Still, I have to give this a go. While I was busy thinking all these thoughts, three days had passed. I wonder if it's going to be okay. It had been exactly four days since I started this plan. Nothing had changed so far. I was just about to give up when... Oh. Huh? Aika? This is kind of awkward. Oh, what a coincidence. Uh, yeah. I think that's the first time she ever started the conversation. Wait, hold on. The make her chase me plan is actually working really well? Actually, I don't know for sure yet. I gotta stay calm. Uh, see you then. Wait. What? Well, um... Well, I'm in a hurry. I didn't feel any of the hostility that I always felt when interacting with her. I also wasn't glared at like I was a piece of trash. She seemed a little phased, which was very unlike her. Hey, hey, hey! What was that right now? What in the world was she trying to say? I wanted to know her next words, but I endured the urge. I decided to run away as quickly as possible, due to the feeling of guilt for treating her so coldly, and as I was scared that I made her hate me. Muriyama, I need a favor. I'm sorry, I got somewhere to be. Shame, I thought that you'd go buy lunch for me. Wait, you're gonna ask me to go alone? That's just ordering me around. <laughs> hmm. I'll listen to your favor next time. Oh, so he's finally alone now? Now's my opportunity. Today's the day. <laughs> Daiki! I can't stand this anymore! You really are hopeless, aren't you? You're so desperate, and that's why it doesn't work out for you. Huh? I wonder what they're talking about. 
<laughs> I love Ika from the bottom of my heart. I can't keep ignoring and acting so coldly towards her. Huh? What's this all about? There's no need for you to feel so bad about it. Ugh, she's treated you so terribly up till now. Still, although you're in the wrong too for over-complimenting her. You said she's cute and all that stuff way too much. Well, now we just have to wait and see how she feels about losing you. If she doesn't feel anything, then it's hopeless for you. <laughs> Let's just wait and see. I'm never going to give up hope. I'll keep trying forever. Oh. After school. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not a coincidence. Huh? I was waiting for you. I see. Wait, what? So this is what happens in those romance mangas? Uh, um... You're the worst. What? So you were avoiding me intentionally? You're the worst. Uh, why'd you know that? I heard that you and Nanaguma were talking about it at lunch today. Oh, for real? This is it for me. She must absolutely despise me. However, I'm even more terrible than you. I said some terrible things to you as I doubted your feelings toward me. I I'm really sorry. Aika? Her face has started to turn a little bit red. Some tears started to gently roll down her cheeks, and she said, I'm going to become more honest with you from now on. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with my feelings toward you. So, please, stop ignoring me. Whoa, hold on. Aika? Aika cried in my arm for around three minutes. Have you calmed down now? Really sorry. What have I done? Um, I want to ask you something. What did you mean when you said you'd be more honest with your feelings? Well, I... <laughs> hey man, you should laugh so loudly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I should feel bad. Those guys are in a year above us. Wait, do they see all of that? I hope the weird rumors don't spread. I don't want Aika to get hurt. <laughs> uh, seems like we were seen. Aika. Oh. Aika? Aika was really panicking about something. I had never seen her face like this. It didn't seem like she was embarrassed about being seen crying into a guy's arms. It seems like an even deeper problem. Hey, are you okay? Do you have something on your mind? It's n nothing <laughs> You're a bad liar, aren't you? I've watched you really close here ever since I fell in love with you, so I know when you're lying. Oh, that was actually really creepy, wasn't it? <laughs> I should get arrested for that. <laughs> Mariyama, you really are kind, aren't you? You always put yourself down to make other people laugh. You do it to your friends all the time, right? It seems like I've matured enough to be able to notice that kind of thing. Huh? Sakashima, the guy from earlier is actually my ex-boyfriend. I started dating him as soon as I got into high school. Back then I was really dumb. I fell in love with him because he would tell me how cute I was and that he loved me every day. Oh, I see. However, it was all just a lie. He ended up cheating on me with two or three other girls. Anyway, once I found out about it, I tried to confront him about it. He just told me that I was the one that was wrong for taking his words so literally. How could be a... Uh... That's not all. He said that I should blame myself for believing him. He also said there were so many other girls that were cuter than me. He kept going on and on. Although... I guess I was wrong for believing his words so easily. Aika forced a smile and told me about her traumatic experience. Anger slowly built up inside of me. She probably couldn't believe my feelings towards her because of what happened in the past. She said she was the one in the wrong? Absolutely no way! That guy called Sakashima is the evil one! However, you were different, serious, and honest with your feelings. However, I was scared of reciprocating those feelings back to you. But I'm not going to run anymore. Gah. What a waste. She was finally expressing her true feelings. This is why he always fails. Oh, Naganua? Please forgive him if you can. He's pretty hard to stop once his blood starts boiling like that. Follow me. Eh? Apologize. What? Apologize to Aika! <laughs> uh, so you heard about it from her then? Well, it's all her fault anyway. I never told her that she was me true love. She's the one that's wrong for assuming it. <laughs> Damn you. 
Oh, you're so arrogant considering you're a second year. Guess I'll show you where you belong. Psh! Ow! Daiki! Aika, you're here as well? Damn it! My perfect face has been ruined now! This is why you don't succeed. You can't just keep acting based on how you feel all the time! Although, that is a good thing about you as well. You're Naganuma, aren't ya? Hey man, this is unacceptable! I was hit in the face twice! You need to be punished! Wait, what? What? You were the one that intruded our fight! Also, I only hit you once. I also hit you once too! What are you talking about? My best friend would never hit me, right? You're the only one here that would willingly hurt someone like this. You have that kind of reputation after all. Want me to call the police, the teachers, your parents, oh, and also all the girls that you betrayed and hold a public trial right here? So you're threatening me now? This idiot right here was telling you to apologize to Ike, right? Well, you just start off by listening to what he told you to do. Damn you. Oh, and don't get me wrong. I'm not asking you to do it. I'm ordering you to do it. I'm sorry about the way I treated you. I can't, I'm really sorry. I don't care anymore. I feel like an idiot for getting hurt by a guy like you in the first place. You're the kind of guy that should get castrated. Make sure that you never appear before me ever again. Damn it! Thanks. Oh, wait, are you okay, Daiki? Yeah, I guess it's not a bad feeling putting my body on the line like this. So now that my job is done, I need to go take care of me precious face. <laughs> See ya! Damn, you really are cool, aren't you? <sighs> How does he do that? He's so good looking, too. <laughs> Compared to him, I'm... Yeah, he really was handsome, wasn't he? Yeah, I can see why you feel that way. Uh, what the hell am I doing? I was unable to say this to you two times in a row, but I love you even more now. Uh, Aika? You're the kindest person. You're also the most honest person. You're the most heroic, too. Also, you love me the most. I love you so much for all of these reasons and more. Moriyama? Actually, Kiera? I want to become your girlfriend. Um... Have your feelings towards me not changed yet? Uh, of course not. My feelings towards you haven't changed at all. There's no way it's gonna change. I still love you as I always have, Aika. I love you so much. It's gonna be really troublesome dating me. Are you really sure that you're fine with me being your girlfriend? Of course I'm sure. You're the only person that I want. I want to become your boyfriend. <laughs> Seems like our feelings are mutual then. It took a long time, but I was finally able to start dating Aika. After that... Daiki, are you okay? What happened to your face? <laughs> I actually fell down a flight of stairs. <laughs> I feel so sorry for you. Let me know if you ever need me to help. I'm probably going to be attacked if they find out I'm the reason behind that injury. <laughs> hmm. What's wrong? Did you feel jealous watching Nanaguma being surrounded by cute girls? I didn't feel that way at all. I was actually kind of scared of him. I'm also going to do the same to you. Whoa! She always used to say some rude things to me every single day. Now all she ever does is say cute things like this to me every single day. <laughs>